full rent controls are coming to Scotland. I've read the consultation document and there's some pretty incredible stuff in there. They've already demonstrated that there's nothing quite so permanent as a temporary government programme by limiting the right to evict among the COVID crisis in December 2020 and subsequently extending it all the way until March 2024, even though we all went back to coughing all over each other without a second thought ages ago. They also put in an emergency rent cap at the same time, starting with a cap there of zero, so no increase allowed at all, before increasing it to 3% in October 2022. So with all that, how is it the case that rents in Scotland are rising faster than anywhere else? Well, the cap only applies within tenancies. For new tenancies, landlords can increase the rent to whatever they like. And of course, knowing that their ability to increase it again could be limited, they're going to push for the biggest increase they can possibly get. The fact that rent controls are making rents rise faster is a bit awkward for the Scottish government. So they're now looking at making rent controls apply both within and between tenancies. The consultation paper begins with the odd claim that we are aware that rent levels as set by the market in the private rented sector can be unaffordable for some tenants in some areas. Which of course they are, virtually no one can afford any property in any area. I assume what they mean is that an increasing number of people aren't able to find any suitable property. The trouble is, if rent controls hold prices at an artificially low level, that solves a problem for people who already have somewhere to live. But rents only rise in the first place when there's more demand than supply. A pricing mechanism is just a way of allocating scarce supply. Doing away with that mechanism doesn't magically reduce demand or increase supply. At best, it turns who gets somewhere to rent into a bit of a lottery. And at worst, it means that as landlords can't discriminate on price, they're going to look extra hard for the tenants who have got the most obviously secure financial situation, so represent less of a risk. Also, it probably reduces supply as landlords decide that doing business in Scotland just isn't worth it. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. The government might be aware of this risk because in their consultation, they're opening the door to a carve out for institutional bill to rent investors which is probably in the light of a survey that found that a majority of build-to-rent developers described investing in Scotland as unattractive. Which is unfortunate because build-to-rent represents new stock that wouldn't otherwise exist. It doesn't take any supply away from the owner-occupier sector, so it represents a pure win for everyone. Meddling in the market just creates unintended consequences like this. In fact, they already caused problems with a law they passed in 2016, which they're now trying to patch over with further legislation. The consultation says the 2016 Act changed the way a joint tenancy could be ended, so all joint tenants must agree to give notice. This aimed to ensure that no joint tenant could be inadvertently made homeless. Unfortunately, this means a person can be trapped in a tenancy by other joint tenants regardless of the circumstances if agreement cannot be reached. I don't know how they could be surprised by this, but they're now proposing another change to the law that would effectively reverse it. Attempting to control rents more strongly will only cause more unintended consequences, but it seems guaranteed to happen, and the consultation doesn't include NO GOD PLEASE NO NO as an option. It's easy for landlords elsewhere to write this off as being only in Scotland, but extreme situations, like the pressure we have on the rental market at the moment, give rise to extreme solutions, even if they're stupid ones. The Welsh Government is also consulting on rent control, and some of their proposals are even more bonkers. And even though there's no talk of rent controls in England yet, there is a bill making its way through Parliament that a lot of landlords are deeply unhappy with. So watch this video next to find out what that is and just how worried landlords should be.